Hello, I'm here in Cephalonia on this enormously crowded beach, <laughs> which is the nearest one to the villa where we're staying. I've brought some art stuff down and I'm just gonna do a very quick splodge and scribble painting of this view. So I've done a paint splodge layer which is all running into each other. I'll let that dry and then I'll do either some pencil or pen on top. So I've put a pen layer in now, just to add some detail. It's not completely accurate, but it gives me an idea. So that's it with some pencil in now. It's not amazing, but it'll be a nice memory. It's a couple of days later now and we've come to Anti Samos Beach. I've got the same art stuff with me. Here's my rough pencil sketch. So this is the first bit of paint I've put on. It's great because the paint's drying nice and quickly, so I can start layering already. And here's as much as I'm going to do on it now. I struggled a bit with doing pebbles, as I've not tried painting stony beaches before coming here. While driving on the coast road, we'd seen this beach from above, so a day or two later we went down to it. This is Murtos Beach. Again, it was a really quiet beach. The tourist season doesn't really start until the 1st of May. I went in for a lovely but cold swim and then started painting. And this is as much as I do on this one. I actually got a bit of sand stuck on the painting at the bottom. It's a couple of days later again, and this is the view from the patio of our villa. It was such a wonderful, peaceful place to stay. I start off by doing a pencil sketch of it. It's pretty hot and the paint dries so, so quickly. I wondered whether I should include the edge of the pool in the painting and decided to because it's primarily for my memories. I don't finish this painting off at the same time. I come back an evening or two later to do it. The sea and sky obviously aren't looking the same but I just finish off the foliage. I didn't end up being thrilled with this painting. I got a bit heavy handed with some of the greens, trying to put shadow in. Painting a view really helps you take it in to a greater level though, so I'm grateful for that. Earlier in the week, we'd visited the village of Assos and walked up to the old fort-like structure on top of the hill. Came back here again and my husband wanted to walk back up the hill but I decided to stay in the village and sit on the harbour wall and do a painting.
I spent much longer on the pencil sketch than I normally would, just because of all the buildings and detail in the view. It's such a pretty place and it was so quiet and beautiful. I was leaning against a lamp post while I was doing my painting and at one point I turned round and there was a cat that had come and joined me in sitting in the shadow. This is as far as I'd got when my husband came back from his walk. It wasn't really finished, but I didn't want to spend any longer on it anyway by this point. I'm back home in Cornwall now, and this is me unpacking my art kit. I didn't end up using my Caran d'Ache Neo Colour 2s on this trip at all. No, it's a pretty small case, so I didn't mind having it. My watercolour tub is always great. That worked perfectly well as usual. And then that can go in the washing machine, my painting cloth. I did use most of the coloured pencils on a picture which I haven't shown you yet. I didn't use my fountain pen. I used the Uniball Air Micro Pen though and my two paint brushes. And then from my watercolour palette, I definitely used all of the blues and greens. The A Gallo and Eterno was a good shadow colour. And all of these. My pinks and purples were the perfect colours for the blossom trees that were on the island. But I didn't end up doing any paintings of those at that point. But overall, I was pretty pleased with this palette. I'll link in the description box down below of the video where I put that travel kit together. So the picture I didn't show in the video was this one. It's kind of a stylized version of a cave with a lake in which we visited. I'd painted the watercolour background in first and I didn't particularly like it. Then I went over the top with coloured pencil and added all the patterns and detail in. And I quite liked the result after that. It was something a bit different anyway. And this is the Splodge and Scribble painting, which I did in the same Talons Art Creations sketchbook. I'll just show you up close now the paintings that I did. In my Sea White's Travel Journal. So this was Anti Samos Beach. and Myrtos Beach. And then this was the view from the balcony, which painting I didn't like all that much. And then this was the view from the harbour wall in Assos village. I'm going to make a separate video of our week in Kefalonia, but that's going to be more of a travel diary than an art video. Thanks ever so much for watching. I hope you'll join me again. Bye!